David, I appreciate it's hard to make uh, a trend of something when we're nearing the end of the year, but yeah, rates are higher, but the dollar is weaker. Equities are not really responding to this hawkish talk that you might have thought. Why do you think that that is? Well, I think it will happen as we look into the first quarter and expectations, uh, S&P 500, for example, will be falling to around 3,600 in, uh, in the first quarter. And you'll see that perhaps rise later in the year to back to around 4,000, which would put you at a, uh, at a flat market, Alex. So your question about, well, what has the market been avoiding? There's this expectation, um, optimism, if you will, of a potential pivot, and perhaps the Fed may stop uh, hiking rates sooner than we expect here at Goldman Sachs. We're expecting a 50 basis point hike next week, followed by three 25 basis point hikes in the, uh, in the early part of next year, February, March, and May. Uh, and so that's the risk, uh, as I would see it, in terms of the valuation to the market, as well as earnings, negative earnings revisions. I think that is the setup for the uh, entering the new year. I think there's going to be a challenging environment, negative earnings revisions, and a reassessment of the level of rates. Right now, the equity market is at the 80th percentile versus history on an absolute valuation basis and on a interest rate adjusted, a relative uh, valuation basis. So it's very, very, uh, very it's expensive. And the risk is, again, uh, yep. that rates are higher than people anticipate.